that for whatever you want to fool me. Um, and welcome to Every Nation Melbourne Kids Church! Um, so bear with me because this is my first time trying to video myself. Um, Pastor Kira is really good at this, great even, but I thought I would help her, right? We need to help each other, right? Um, so, before we proceed to our topic today, um, I would like to teach you something. Like, it's kind of a craft that I've learned when I was a child back in my country, the Philippines. So, I thought it would be relevant to our lesson for today. Okay? Alright, so for this craft, you will need a paper in a size of a square. So, for you to um, get a square cut paper, for example, you have a rectangular shaped paper. So, you just fold it in a big triangle like that. And you might need a pair of scissors to just cut off the remaining paper on the edge. Um, and then you would need a pen as well and you would need colors. First that we need to do is to fold the corners onto the center or the middle of this square. Okay, so you would do that like that and while we're doing these, um, we might as well do a recap on what we learned from last week from Pastor Kira. So she talked about facing failures. So I guess every one of us is afraid to, to fail, right? Like we want to make things perfectly, but unfortunately, um, we make mistakes. So like that. So it should look like that. And then you flip it on onto the other side yeah so going back so we are afraid to make failures but god is so good that even if we fail he can create new stories from our failures so um so we do our best and then let god do the rest okay all right so and then the corners again so you will fold them into the middle like that hopefully you're getting this we used to play with this before when I was a child. So make sure that the edges don't overlap on each other. So it's gonna look like that, okay? All right. So when you flip it, that's like that looks like that, and then like that. All right. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is fold the square into halves. Then fold it again until you make a small square like that. And then you open it up. And then you would try to fold it. Like, hey, I don't know why it's gold, but like that, okay? And then you kind of fold them. All right, so it should look like that. And then you slip your fingers into these flaps. So yeah, so we used to play this a lot in the Philippines, wherein I'll actually tell you what we do with this later on, alright? So if you put your fingers there, then what you do with that is, ta -da! we'll make use of that space later on, okay? Um, so with the colors... So you open it up again like that. So you can put one color each to distinguish it from each other. So one color for for um, every triangle in the middle. I'm terrible. I'm terrible in putting color. You're probably better than me on this. 
but just to show you so color 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 I just want to say I miss you guys hopefully we're doing how I wish we're doing this together in church but um, we need to stay at home for now okay all right and my favorite color is purple but um tend to like pink as well okay. all right so i'll probably stop there but you can keep going while you're listening to me um but yeah one color each so you need one two three four five six seven eight eight colors okay and then and then so you color on that part of the square not on this okay all right so okay that's it for the craft and we move on to our lesson for today all right so our topic for today is serving others um, who among you knows what is this for or what is it called so this thing is called a stethoscope so I work as a nurse in the hospital, you know, I look after sick kids. Um, so I use this thing a lot. So um, I use this to listen to their hearts, to listen to their lungs. Um, but yeah, so I'm showing this to you because um, in connection to our topic, which is serving others, of course, I'm a nurse, so I serve them. But more than that, I want to show you if you can see there over there so our word for today scripture for today is from colossians 323 which is on my stethoscope um so if you have your bible or if you don't have your bible go grab your bible and open it to colossians chapter 3 verse 23 and it says whatever you do work heartily as for the lord and not for men so what do you think does that mean all right. So for me, um, I I've had it engraved on my stethoscope because, as I said, I use this thing a lot to do my job. Um, so I thought it would be a great reminder for me that as I help people, as I serve people, um, I want to do it for God and not necessarily. For them it doesn't mean we don't care about them of course we want to make them happy as well we want to serve well but we want to do it for God so that's what it means when it says whatever you do so not just when as for me when I'm at work but even when you're at home when you're with your parents when you talk to them and you're with your friends or when you go out and say hi to the um, the person at the grocery store so we do everything for God. So we so we serve others for God. Okay? So we want to um more than we want to make our parents happy or our friends happy or the people around us happy by serving them, we want to make Jesus happy as we serve people. Because when we serve people, we serve God as well. Okay? All right. Um so going back to this square thing that I still don't know. Um, Filipino parents, feel free to message me to let me know what this thing is called. Um, but yeah, so hang on. So this is light, right? So, in relation to our topic for today, serving others. So now that you're at home, you're mainly staying with your parents and not, hopefully not going outside a lot. So you don't see anyone else but your parents for now. Um, so my challenge for you is this. So as you open this, so you see, remember we tried to color, I hope you colored everything, but I just did two triangles. But there are eight triangles in there and I want you to think of ways of how you can help your parents or how you can serve them not just this week but hopefully for the weeks to come even if the restrictions are lifted so for example you write the 
wash the dishes if you know how to wash the dishes okay so wash the dishes like that so you put it there and for example on the next triangle give them a hug so yeah um give them a hug or help them cut the vegetables um maybe tell them how much you love them you know like um so we'll call this your helper helper's hints okay so each day maybe when you wake up so you, you can actually no no no, no. all right scratch that so you put you put instead of that sorry guys <laughs> Um, you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then maybe in a separate, and then, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there, and then when you flip it, you'll see a space over there, right? See? So I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite difficult, but you put like the ways that, that you thought of, of how you can serve um, your parents this week like they so So when you pay it's like you pick a number Like you do it like that So hard guys And then for example there for example, or maybe I'll just put I'll just put numbers Okay to make it easier for all of us two three four Five, six, seven, eight. All right. So as I said, I haven't done it, but as I said, so numbers. Uh, I think I broke it. Hopefully I don't. Um. So on that side will be numbers, and then on this side you should have wrote, written the ways that you thought of on how you can serve your parents this week or your siblings or whoever's living with you um so when you do that for example you can decide when to stop and then you should have four numbers i don't know if you can see and then you will pick one from those numbers for example three and then and then you would flip it and you should have written something there at the back like for example wash the dishes and commit to do that that day and make your parents happy okay so to repeat um our verse for today um whatever you do work heartily as for the lord and not for men so we serve because we love god we serve because god loves us and god has given us the ability to serve others okay um so next week we'll check on you if you actually did something to serve your parents or your family but till then um let's pray before we close okay um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for um, for our lives. Thank you for our families. Thank you, God, that um, you you showed us how to serve well, like how to serve in humility. And we pray that we will serve others as well, like our families and our friends and the people around us in in humility as well, because we wanna um, we wanna share our love to them and we want to make you happy so show us jesus on how we can serve others not just this week but for the weeks to come in jesus name we pray amen all right guys that's it for me i survived um be blessed and love on each other okay bye bye